So this year they're coming out with what I've been calling the iPhone 17 Air or the iPhone Air. Why? Well, let's look at the MacBook strategy. They have the higher end, thicker MacBooks with all the specifications. Then they have the lower end MacBook Air and that's a focus on thin and light using next generation technologies, forward thinking, futuristic. So now they saw the success with the Mac. They want to do the same thing to the iPhone. So this is going to be a slim down model. It's a fifth thinner uh, than the other iPhones on the market. And when you're getting down to 20% thinner, that's really thin because the iPhones are pretty darn thin already, right? And the way they've created a very sophisticated display and battery technologies to get the power efficiency up using a new modem, it's going to have a display around 6.6 .6 inches, so a little bit bigger than the smaller Pro, so it's an in-betweener size. I think this phone's going to be really successful, really hot. They wanted to make it even more futuristic by removing the charging port from it, but they were worried about EU regulators. So. Yeah. That charging port will be there for this generation, but my anticipation is that this is going to foreshadow even thinner, even bolder iPhones with bigger design changes, foldables, and certainly models down the road without charging ports.